Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes, daily reading, whatever you want to call it for tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow's the 18th, so you know the timing is fluid. We've talked about it multiple times. So for the 18th, I just lotioned up my hands, so whatever. Anyhow, um, what do we got? This is for somebody, may or may not be you. What do we got for the 18th, which is what, Monday? Yeah, it's Monday. Could be Tuesday, could be Wednesday, could be today, could be yesterday, you know? What do we got, dear God, angels, universe, and spirits? What do we got for energy? great start to the to the day unexpected choice in love unexpected love right a decision a choice a gift perhaps a gift of love Getting exactly what you deserve, right? Hmm. Somebody's been watching, investigating, doing their homework about making some sort of offer or something like that. Making a decision. Yeah, this is a decision as well. Hmm. Could be dealing with Libra or Gemini or an Aquarius. Could be dealing with anybody, but so far we have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. Now, that could be Libra, Gemini, Gemini, Aquarius, anywhere in their chart. So, it could be anybody, right? Getting exactly what you deserve. Ah, so yeah, we have, we have an opportunity for love here with somebody that... really has something to offer. I mean, this person can bring something to the table. Oh my God, this person can absolutely bring something to the table. This person has something solid and stable to offer. Wow. See why I shuffle for so long? There's a reason for that. There's a reason why I shuffle on camera too because I, I mean, I'm not dissing anybody who doesn't. They have their own reasons why they don't, but I feel for me, the most authentic way is to shuffle on the camera. Um, we have a new beginning here. Okay, at the very bottom of the deck, the overall energy is endings bring new beginnings. Right? So we do have a new beginning. Let me get this focused. All right, so... I'm just looking at this card right here. It just feels as though somebody has escaped something. Somebody has just escaped something that was unfulfilling in their life. A daring escape, perhaps. Somebody has made an escape and they're headed towards something else. This is unexpected. I think that somebody has, you know, something has ended perhaps abruptly. There's been an um abrupt ending and now there's an opportunity for perhaps even a soulmate connection um, being brought to you from above. I mean, the very first card is the lovers. We have this angel that is bringing two people together that are potentially a perfect match. 
this person has whoever is coming in or whoever is around whoever is in this scenario really has something stable to offer this person is not um, fly by the seat of their pants this person is a planner this person is a hard worker this person um, is slow and methodical this person um, is probably um, has been in the background by the looks of things. This person has probably been in the process of making a decision as to whether they wanted to go after this connection or not. I think this person has been really worried about, you know, or anxious or, fi or fearful about opening their heart. And I feel like this person probably were, was fearful because they may have gotten themselves into a situation that lacked love I mean she's leaving leaving somebody at the altar it's like no there's no love here there's no love here I have to go so I I really feel like somebody has left a, a situation that was emotionally unfulfilling and now they know ha they have another opportunity for love but they're really worried about it really really worried about you know giving their heart away. I feel like whoever we're dealing with here is in the process of making a solid decision, you know, about giving their heart away. You know, that's what it is. It's like There's been a period of stagnation. There's been a period of confusion. There's been a, you know, feeling of, I'm not sure if this is what I want. I don't know what I want, you know. I've just gone through some sort of completion in my life. I, I don't know what I want. I know what I deserve, but I don't know if I have enough to offer. I don't know if I'm ready for love. And I feel like we have somebody here that is really going within to master their emotions and move forward with the best of intentions. You know, there's a song by Travis Tritt that just came into my mind. I can't remember. Something about best of intentions. I don't know what the song is. I haven't heard it in like 10 years. That song just came to my mind, whatever it is. Something about the best of intentions. Um... Somebody has been fearful of starting over and now we have an opportunity to bring balance and harmony to back to somebody's life. But this person is still worried. They're still worried about making the right decision. So we have somebody here that may have to make a choice between two people. Okay, you may have an opportunity, you know, to choose. You have to choose. You have to choose between two options. Which one do you want? You may have to choose between, I'm not even going to say the signs because it really doesn't matter. We have them all here anyway. We have earth sign, um, air sign, water sign. Somebody has to make a choice. A final decision. I mean, this is a final decision. So somebody is in the process of making a serious decision and they are trying to use their heart and their mind. Here we have mind, here we have heart. You know, it's I'm, I'm trying to be logical while still following my heart. So it feels like we have somebody here that is making a really serious decision in regards to a new beginning. You know, do I want this or not? It, it is. So, we have a love connection right off the bat. There's a love connection that, you know, has some something has brought two people together. And these people have a great 
they're a great combination, okay? There's equal give and take. There's equality. It's like it's not going to be one-sided. It's not where one person has to give more than the other. This is a opportunity for two people to come together where it's a it's a really great match. It's it's something that perhaps you have been waiting for. Um I think that there could be a message that comes in tomorrow. Um, or in the next couple of days, or maybe it's already happened, something, you know, a, an offer um, that is coming in that you may want to co really, really consider because whoever this person is that is making the offer has thought about it. It's not, like I said, it's not a fly by the seat of the pants offer. It's not an impulsive offer. It's not an unrealistic offer. It's a genuine offer. Whatever, whatever this connection is, whatever this message that comes in is, it's, it's, it's real. It's real. It's not um, bullshit. So, this page of pentacles reversed. This is somebody who is afraid, though. This person is a little bit afraid or they lack the skills or, you know, they're, <laughs> they're, they may be a little... Uh, lazy in their approach you know what I mean maybe they're just too aloof whoever this person is maybe they're just eh, you know slow <laughs> you could be dealing with somebody that's a little it's not like they're slow a slow person you know you know what I'm trying to say it's like they're not slow in that way they're, they move slow. They don't hurry. Like I said, this is not a person that is a hurrier. This person is practical. This person is logical. This person is um, very intelligent, whoever this person is. They they don't do things impulsively. So this is, this is good. This is really good. This person takes the time to think about the outcome because they don't want to get in this situation where... You know, it's just going to end because it was unreal. You know, there's no love there. They're, they're, they're you know, being practical. So I, I really feel like we have a love connection that is coming about. Somebody is in the process of making a decision. They've been really, really thinking about what they have to offer, if they're ready for love, if they have enough, you know, if they're good enough, um... And perhaps now they are going to communicate how they feel. They do have good intentions. This person um, is a person that acts with integrity. This person isn't, like, I can't stop saying it. This person is not a person that is... You know, this person doesn't just, isn't a player. This is not a player here. It's not. So I, I really feel like we have a connection that, from two people that I think it's meant to be. It's getting what you deserve, okay? Somebody is going to get what they deserve in a good way. Now, there's a lot of equality here. There is. It's like this is, a, this is equality and this is equality. So it's like... This is going to be an equal relationship, so I think there's a weight or a heaviness surrounding a choice. I think that's why somebody has been losing sleep, because they, they know that they have a love connection here, and, you know, it's you want it or you don't, and I think this, this person is in the process of making the decision, you know, should I go for this or not? So I do believe that somebody is, is taking action. And they may, they may send a message. They may message you about their fears or they may message you about the decision that they've made. I mean, we definitely have somebody that is making a decision here. Um, and they've been struggling with this decision. They really have. They've been struggling. And I think they've been struggling because of that death card on the end. You know, something, you know, has ended. They've been through some sort of transformation or they've been through some sort of completion in their life recently 
and now they, they don't want to get involved to be left hanging again, you know? So I feel like there's there is a level of wanting to protect myself here, but this is such a good connection that, you know, We have the Hierophant on the bottom. So it looks like somebody is being called to have faith and trust. Whatever this connection is, it could lead to commitment. Um, somebody is thinking about an offer of love. That's what's going on here. Wondering if they want it or not. Do I, I mean, should I let this go or should I keep it? That's what's going on here. Somebody doesn't know if they want it or not. And I feel as though they're trying to protect themselves. Somebody is definitely trying to protect themselves. They're afraid of, you know, getting hurt. Um, I think whoever this person is, they've definitely been watching. They've been watching and they've been investigating. They've been doing their homework so that they can make the most logical decision. We have somebody here that is absolutely positively doing a lot of thinking seriously about love, about accepting a somebody's hand or companionship. I feel like whoever this is, they realize that there is a definite compatibility here. You know, it's brought, these two people are brought together from above okay this is these people are definitely brought together from some sort of angel okay so we have some peop two people that are being brought together and we have this maybe both people I don't know one, one or both of these people are really thinking and losing sleep over making this decision to combine you know to come together to commit so I really feel like we have a potential commitment on the table here, but somebody is trying to decide whether this is the right step or not. I think that something you may have started off pretty fast, pretty quickly, and they may feel like it's it's too fast, it's too quick, you know? And now, now they have to make this decision, do I want this or not? Obviously, that's what this is. I, do I want this or not? Because the opportunity will slip away if you don't take it. So, so I think this, this person knows that, you know? I, I, now I have to make a decision because if I don't, the opportunity will slip away, you know. So I think there's been reluctant, you know, to get reluctance. There's been reluctance to accept this connection. But there's some sort of realization that this is a perfect combination. So I don't know who this reading is for, but... I feel like somebody is going to receive a message, a welcome message. that they've been waiting for. Somebody is going to receive a message that they have been waiting for from somebody that has been reluctant to let them in. This is reluctance. The five of wands is the five of wands reversed is reluctance. You know, patience is needed. Patience is needed. 
So I feel like somebody has has been patient and they've been waiting. They have been waiting. And I think that some sort of communication is going to be coming. Some sort of truth is coming. Um, so be prepared. I mean, I really feel like some kind of communication is going to be coming in from somebody that you have been waiting to hear from. This person may be coming with some sort of... Uh, solid offer, you know, or solid communication, whatever it is, it leads towards acceptance. This is, this is acceptance as well. So I, I really feel like somebody has been watching in the background, waiting for the right time, trying to make a decision, the most practical decision. This person has been mastering their emotions, uh, working on themselves, thinking long and hard about what they have to offer, what they want, where they want to go, you know, what has happened in the past. And, and it's like this person is, is really trying to do the right thing. I mean, this person is very, very, very intelligent, whoever this person is. This person is really gung-ho about doing the right thing. So, I think there's going to be movement. I think there's going to be movement in the next day or two in regards to this love connection that is absolutely perfect. So, yeah, I feel like there is communication coming in. After some resistance, there's been resistance, and this resist this time of resistance was because this person, you know, had to think about it. This was this was the most practical, responsible way to handle the whole situation, whatever it was. Um, let's get a couple of these. This person's been observing. They've been observing. They've been taking the time they need to make the right decision. So for those of you that have been growing frustrated, whoever you're dealing with, who and, and this reading isn't for everybody, okay? It's not, so it may not be for you. But for some of you, there is somebody here that has been watching and thinking and trying to be logical, trying to master their emotions, trying to basically act with integrity you know I want to make sure I'm making the right decision before I get myself attached so that's what I see retreat it's time to disconnect from the world and you know if you look I mean this definitely could lead to commitment if you look those people are married that's a husband and a wife they've just gotten married this could lead to to marriage it could and I feel like this person has disconnected because they probably feel the connection is so strong. It's a little bit scary. It is a little bit scary. So, let's get one more. Ah, finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So, for some of you, this person has been, may think that they don't have enough to offer as well. Maybe that's why they're reluctant. They may feel like they don't have enough to offer. And at the bottom, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And I think that this has happened with that death card. I think that's kind of what has happened here. I think there's been a, a release. Death is release. And now, you know, there's an opportunity for a new love connection. And it's a little bit scary. There's an opportunity to come together with somebody that is perfect from you, for you. But it's not this person. So. Somebody has a new love connection here that they truly deserve. And they're a little bit fearful about extending their hand, extending their heart. And now it's like the decision is absolutely being made. Decision, decision, decision. A decision is being made in regards to 
taking it or not. So that's what I see. For some of you, you will be receiving communication. Good luck. <laughs>